Welcome to another video on R. Today we will learn how to combine a box plot and a dot plot using R as found here. In a follow-up video, we'll learn how to make a combined bar chart and dot plot or strip chart. In our previous video, we discussed on why composite plot types like this here are now standard in scientific reporting. So first let's start R and we go to File and go to New Script and I'm going to paste the code here we're going to use. So first let's look at what the code is going to do. We have here my.data is equal to read.table which is going to read the data from the clipboard and we're going to attach the data and we'll have the code for box plot which is the one found here and we now have the code for strip chart so I'll concentrate to explain what this means. Here we're going to have y variable is going to match the x factor and data is going to be my data. We say vertical is equal to true it's going to be vertical and we say method jita and jita is just like some noise so like making some noise and this is important because if you have a strip chart and all the points are on top of each other it will be difficult to appreciate what their real value is so when you use jita they are like spread apart from each other a little bit so you can appreciate each point individually pch is equal to 21 so we'll see what pch means our plotting symbols can be obtained using PCH from 19 to 25 and COL defines the border color and BG the background. So if we have a PCH value here, these are the corresponding symbols. PCH 19 will give solid cycle, 20 a bullet, 21 field cycle, 22 field square, 23 field diamond, 24 field triangle pointing up and 25 field triangle pointing down. So PCH creates the symbols and for that we're going to have the COL which is the color in this case we make it red and BG which is background is yellow and we round that up by saying add is equal to true and to complete things up we are going to calculate in this case the means the standard deviations the number per group as well as the standard error of the mean in case we want to use those for reporting calculating these are going to be done using T apply which we've seen before in previous videos so going ahead I'm going to go up here to windows and tile vertically this way I'm going to have my editor on the left and we're going to have the console on the right to read in data we go to the data we've been using before and this basically is a data coming from three places control Limbeck and Bamenda and we are having like random data here which have been created and in order to load into R we are going to arrange as an X factor and a Y variable which is the output in this case we're dealing with worms to load into R we're going to highlight all of this and we go control c for copy we go back to the r console put the cursor here since we are using r script if you want to know how to use r script please watch our previous videos so here i'm going to put a cursor here on this first code and i'm going to go run the data has been loaded here on the console i go again run it's attached i go box and we now have the box plot and then i click here again to highlight this window for it to be active i go run and we now have our strip chart on top of the box plot and just to make things neat i've also used these codes to get the means the standard deviation from the different towns the number per group which is in this case 12 for all and the standard error of the mean so that is how easy it is to create a composite box plot and strip chart on top of it and as seen in the previous video such composite plots are now standard in reporting scientific literature thank you for watching our video please give us a thumbs up below or ask us your questions in the next video we're going to see how to use this information to make a composite plot consisting of a bar chart and a strip chart see you in the next video